Merry Christmas, Marty. I'll be out with some food in just a minute. And these guys are on the bench. Well, Merry Christmas to one and all. It's uh, 9 a.m. here and we're going to have a warm day near 70. Hopefully I'm not out here so late that gypsies came and there wasn't any food. Hopefully these guys will eat and there's always some left over and then the other little cat will come, hopefully. There you go. There's your food. It's right, excuse me, it's right there. There you go, buddy. Good morning. Hi guys. Merry Christmas. Good morning. So we've set our piece of meat out on the counter to come up to room temperature, which it never does before we stick it in the oven. We do the turn off the, get the oven super duper hot, basically clean it, put the piece of meat in for a short amount of time, turn it off and let it sit a long time method. All right, it's that time in the Christmas holiday program. I wonder what that big piece of cardboard is. Yeah, baby. That one's mine. That one belongs to you. See, we're color coordinated. Yes. Yep, yep. Yeah. Santa knows how to color coordinate things. And the wrapping paper on the left is uh, Johnny's. The wrapping paper, uh, the striped metallic stuff is Don's. And the pretty birds is is mine. So, so Johnny, how about the bag with the with the yeah. paper coming out of it. Let's start with that there one. We, you know, we're going to try to go from uh, tiniest to most important. Wait, wait. <laughs> this is the one he'll be super most excited about. Absolutely. Just going to be thrilled. What, video games? <laughs> <laughs> oh, underwear. Yeah, that's the thing. I got he don't want to hold it up and spin it around and get on. I actually about bought that. It. <laughs> I would walk, got that from Walmart. Uh, Here's my other present. I don't even know what this one is. This was all Mr. Oh, Don. Okay. I got <laughs> Sam one too. For you to take over. Yeah, be careful how you tear on it, I think. <laughs> we'll explain it. Oh, it's a how to write thank you cards. How to write condolences how to uh, write, you know, various different letters and things like that, you know, correspondence so that you follow proper etiquette. I guess if you have a girl in your life, she does yeah. that for you. But if you're a single guy for a while and you have questions about how to handle stuff, that's yeah. a guide to staying well, out of trouble. He wouldn't appreciate it now, but in about 10 years, he might appreciate he still it. Has it. He'll find it. So I sure wish I had that thing Mr. Dodd gave me. Yeah. Uh, the one closest to Mr. Don's gifts, and then we'll get a Mr. Don present. All right. I had to send off. I had to write a letter to get that. <laughs> you had to write a letter to get the, to get the information on writing letters. Yeah, dear Abby, she doesn't take, you know, you don't send your emails. Oh, it's a new Never Trust an Abby shirt. And Can we see it? Yeah. Never trust an atom, and this one actually has like an atom on it. Oh, the other one does too. Okay. But you had told me that a couple of new shirts were actually in order, so yeah. hopefully. Well, so we can oh, retire a couple cool. shirts? Huh? We can retire Maybe. A we'll shirt. see. That's a cool shirt. This one's Star Trek. Let's see. It's, he's studying the ship designs. Oh, it's next generation that ships. That is way cool. Well, these, there's, a, there's a mixture there. Is there? I thought it was all next gen. I mean, it's all of them. I, it goes from the oldest ship on it is the is the in, is the original Enterprise. Okay. And the newest one is either the Sovereign or Voyager. Oh, okay. Well, so, way cool. So Enterprise E or Voyager. Way cool. There's one more in here. Yeah. It says Battlebots. Oh, really? That's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool shirt. Oh, it's got the various it's different It's got ones. the various different ones on it. Has it got Tombstone on it? Uh, actually, somehow it does not have ah. Tombstone on it. Sorry. But, well, I'm not... Mad. Yeah, I understand. Still well, I spent a lot of time trying to pick out, um... All these shirts are pretty cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, they're just all in the heat. Oh, it's fine. All right, now this is the present... One of those things I got to thinking, I said, you know, 
My girl needs needs something like this in her life and needs another one. Don's notorious for giving me things that I need. Yes. So when I, I see only things that this. I want, I just go get them and That's then we right. call it from him and we're good. There's no there's no wants from me. There's only <laughs> needs. <laughs> And this girl needs I don't know one. what this is, but it came in a bag that sounded like it had Legos and the yeah. little stinker let me think it was Legos right. for three or four days. That's right. I thought maybe a custom, I don't know. And so the, the Lego sounding parts were that thermal part for the coffee filter, several in the thing. Anyway, it wasn't Legos. Oh, I did need another one of these. This is good. It's a um, it's a, Apple mag. Uh, it's, it's another charger for my watch. It's not just another charger. It's not. It's a USB C. Oh God. <laughs> charger, not just another. And it's a, that's a real Apple. It's, I see that it's real. It's real Apple. Apple. I Don, didn't... Don likes C. He's really <laughs> into C. With a little fitness side of my computer, or it works well in Jules. Does that's Ruby right. have a C? She does now because does you now. put the 12-volt adapter right. in there. Well, I needed a second one. Yep. We'll upgrade my watch maybe next Christmas. Yep. But, it, um, you it, know, the battery's fading in it, and I'm having to plug it in more often. I need I need a cable I could take in the car, that basically. Yeah. I don't think it'll fast charge the model of Apple Watch you have now, but the current generation the of our outfit. Yeah, the well, there's six. always my birthday. Right. There's always your birthday. <laughs> Conveniently comes half in the That's middle right. of the year. Well, obviously, this is like a t-shirt. I did try to hide it. But it can't be a very large t-shirt. It's not a sweatshirt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's going to be a Tesla <laughs> shirt of some type. Not denying it. It's great. Aren't most of Tesla shirts gray? Or black. Yeah, Elon oh, doesn't. It's a Cybertruck. Yep, it's a Cybertruck shirt. Way cool, I like that. I got to keep the Cybertruck on his brain. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I thought. It's going to match the Cybertruck. Right. Stainless steel color. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, it's not a holiday if you don't get a shirt. Yeah, Shirts are right. kind of just happen. That's right. Thank you. I tell him, you know, he just does a really good job. I just want y'all to know of alternating his shirts for, so he's in oh, the videos. Yeah. Although I guess lately with the running shirt in the morning, but no, Don's always oh, alternating no. his the, shirts the, the, and I make sure he has plenty to choose from more than he needs. Right. The It's hard with the cold weather. Yeah, the cold weather's making it more difficult. Yeah. Thank you, sweet. You're welcome. Okay, go grab the big one. This is actually to me and you from Miss Michelle. Mm. And y'all... <laughs> <laughs> you think? You know, at Michelle's house, I had to work really hard not to let the kids lift that box until they had torn the paper off of it. I came, I told Michelle to clear the bar counter, came in, set it down, and forbid them from touching it. Oh, it's a train. It's a, it's a train. It's a train, and it has power functions that make it move. It's a little different than the cargo train out there, but it has all the stuff in it to make it move. It has a hub. A Bluetooth hub and um, a motor. Yeah. So you can run it from the phone just like we ran the other train. Pretty cool. And it's only 1,271 pieces. It's a, it's a fourth of the size of Connor's house. Hint, hint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what kind of trains it called? Wait, I guess I don't understand. It's called a crocodile. Locomotive. I guess I don't quite understand that. I need to wiki it and read up. Um, although I think the instruction manual in there is going to have um, the history. Usually mm -hmm. Lego has a lot of history at the sure. front of their instruction manuals for things like this. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't get it underwear. All right. Well, I don't remember. Oh, I get a double gift. <laughs> I never even opened that one. It's like a arrive and wrap. I'm sorry, but you can't guess this one. You can look at who it came from, though. Give yourself a clue. Oh, it's from Ebony. Huh, what would that be? This one's as much for me as it is for you. It's an Ebony. I still don't know. 
<laughs> may have to get the invoice out and figure it out. Oh, you'll figure it out in a minute. Velcro. It's a leash? <laughs> yeah, I got you a dog leash for your car. It's a... Are you ready for me to tell you? Not yet. Well, let, me, let me struggle a little bit. <laughs> Velcro and a, like a dog leash handle. Does it strap kids down in the back seat? <laughs> It, when people don't know about the acceleration, it holds them in place. <laughs> no, not quite. All right, you can read the invoice now. It's actually configured a little different than I would have real than I realized it would be. Okay, you win. It's a pull strap. That's right. The little shelf in the back, the short shelf. Yeah. We never can get it to lift up. We have to move the mat, oh, take out okay. the back thing. This is supposed to leave the little strap sticking up where you just lift the little strap. And you don't have to work so hard to lift the shelf. And hopefully there's something in there that talks a little bit or online. Because I guess there's no instructions there's for no how instructions. to install it. That's it. The invoice. And I, to be honest, I didn't realize it was one long piece that comes out on both ends. I just assume it was a piece that went underneath that you lift up. But... I'm sure there's. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, to see, to see how that. I mean, there must be a reason but to keep it. Without a doubt, that is a problem. Not a problem, but it's one of the things you have to deal with with the Y is lifting that thing up. That is. It, you yeah, have, and especially if you have a mat back there yeah. like we do, it's yeah. uh, not double trivial. Whammy. Yeah, double yeah. whammy. And we so. got a nice Evan X. Yep. Um, I guess glass cleaner, a yeah. uh, wiping cloth. Yeah, wiping yeah. cloth, a screen cleaner. All right, go hand Johnny the farthest one. Farthest one. Yep. Yeah. We do have this fireplace thing with crackling noises up there, so if you're hearing crackling in yeah. the background, that's as much fire as we ever get like in our fireplace. Southern California here, 70 something today. It's not quite Legos. Uh, it's something jingling in there. So it's something of metal pieces. Oh, it's a candle music box. Oh, it's one of these wooden things. Yeah, way cool. That's cool. Yeah. It has... It's, uh... Let me see it again from the front. Music box. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I let you open this. Because it could spoil that. But if I open that, you know, that might be the better thing to do is to open the big one. The big one? Yeah, because then that may not help you. You won't know what's in here. But if, okay. I, if you open this, you'll know what that I is. I will? Okay. It doesn't go the other way. That's a funny box. That's right. Very it's not, box. it's not, it's something yeah. that doesn't, isn't, they want to display it, but it's not conducive to being square, yeah. I guess, or rectangular. Yeah. Okay. Now, what could that big thing be? Mm -hmm. It's not a box. It's, it's part it's, of a box. It's, right. It's not a box. It's not. It doesn't wait. Well, trust me. Getting keeping that thing hidden was no easy challenge because that's right. It's that big. And I mean, the box was that big. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it. Let the Ladventure begin, it says. Radventure. Radventure. Rad See, adventure. over in the corner, it's got a picture of a bike it by Johnny's a, foot. Right, Rad Power Bike. Rad, that's oh, right. Oh, it's, it's got a, a battery. Right, it's, it's got a, a bike battery. for a Tesla driver? <laughs> it's a battery for a Tesla driver. <laughs> okay, way for cool. For the cutest one. Well, that was one. a pretty, bit, pretty cool box. Yeah. I, I, so. I think if you'd have had more time and didn't want to give it away instantly, yeah. you would have colored it. I would have. I've thought I'm about sure, doing water I'm pet sure colors but, or magic it. markers, but the thing is, I it was I had to keep it hidden, and you know, way cool. <laughs> and he had these little things behind. Yeah, it to, to stand it up. Yeah, you can just let it on the floor. It'll be okay. fine. So I'm trying to. <laughs> way cool. So 
We'll be going out to the garage in a minute, so I can. Oh see right, I'm sorry. The real present is actually okay. ready in the garage, okay. waiting on you. Yeah, Don was outside for quite some time yes, last, last night. Yes, uh, last. Some, some, some assembly, assembly required, required, literally. Yeah. And I think he's got a little more some assembly required today. Too. I'm sure. Thank. You. Yeah, it wouldn't be Christmas if Don didn't spend most of the day helping everybody else with their gifts. That's, That's just right. sort of what happens. Although yeah. he has one or two things that he needs to stake out a little bit of time That's for. That's right. All right. I think you know what this one is. Well, you've got me a watch already. It's actually a little small for a watch. It could be a... Well, i got plenty of chargers, so I don't know. Oh, I forgot. I had said something about that. Yeah. Mm. It's uh, Amazon Halo. In other words, Amazon's version of a Fitbit. They tried it without a screen, and yes. then they went back and added a screen. Right, and the, the reason I, I... I had told Kitten this is the one... I looked, I, I researched them a little bit, and I told her to get this one for me because, A, it was inexpensive. It's only 70 bucks. 50. 50 bucks. Black Friday, 50. Yeah. And I'm expecting now that Amazon and Samsung have gotten together, that there's going to be a real Android watch. A, yeah, Fitbit and Google have gotten oh, together. Right. We're, the Galaxy 4 and the... Fitbit Sense are going to kind of yeah. merge into some great watch that will use this watch. Uh, watch right. uh, yeah. So maybe by next Christmas, uh, there'll be a real hand, a real good Android watch instead of like Samsung has good hardware and crappy software. Google's got good software and crappy hardware. So hopefully there's going to be a... And actually Fossil came out with I didn't tell you. Oh. Came out with a watch that uses that watch. Is it Watch OS? Watch OS. Yeah. Um, the only problem is, is the battery life in those watches is horrible. Right. Um, but it's sort of what you want. If they fix the battery problem, that Fossil watch would be okay. But there, there were so many complaints about the battery that I couldn't do that to you. Yeah. So that's what it is. And it, the problem with my Fitbit is I, I literally cannot read my Fitbit. Yeah, well, I don't know if you can read that either, but... Yeah, well, at least there's a snowball's chance. All I right. Think. So there's something on the outside of it. Yeah. A fidget spinner? It is a fidget device. Like a fidget... Device. Little locking loop thing. And then there's something on the inside. What is it? Oh, it's a shaver. And yeah, I was there when she got... Oh, it's a really, it's a really nice shaver. Yeah. Yep, it's a foil one. Well, the thing of it is, is um, yeah. So hopefully that'll make things a little easier for you. All right. So like I said, the other one would give uh, this. You can't tell what this. What is this? Oh, I could tell what this one. Oh is. well, that's I didn't think about that. Feeling the rounded <laughs> See, you part. You would have had to have faked me out with a. Yeah, I, I would have had to. I that's think it right. May go along with the bike. Is yeah, what yeah, thinking. yeah. Well, let's see. This is why I said she would have. Um, if she saw this, she would have known something was up. It is a six with sync signal MIPS. Yeah. There's okay. something else in there too. Oh, oh, there is. Those are from head sweats. Oh, okay. they're for protecting for your protecting hair. My hair from the straps. Yeah, yeah girls don't like, like that. With long like hair, helmet like hair. Helmet. First Hel off, I can't pin it all the way up because it's too bulky up yeah. inside the helmet to fit right. And then with it down, it gets caught in the straps. And of course, it had to be red. You know, there's no other color. And I'm not just for visibility with me, but for... Uh, yeah, it has to be red. There's never no not being red. Does it fit? Oh, I'm sure it fits. It's adjustable. Oh, it looks quite nice. It fits just fine. Yeah, and it's got the... Um, there's a safety certification. That, uh, this that one's got that, that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. MIPS, and it, and yeah. It, yeah, in other words, you just... Not just every every helmet we'll passes that cert yeah. certification. I forget what it's called, but anyway, you should uh, definitely get one that's approved because then uh, you know uh, the bike is limited to 20 miles an hour 
uh, powered. Like that, right? You can pedal it as fast as you want, but it will only the motor will only help up to 20 miles per hour. But trust me, folks, 20 miles an hour on a bicycle with 20 inch wheels is 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 boogieing. Mm, okay. It's well, one. I would try this on too, but I can't. It's got. I got to get the. Um, yeah, I understand. Well, I don't mess get up. the tag off, and I don't want to pull it. I need a pair of scissors. Right, I understand. Well, that's pretty. Looks like mermaid almost. Yeah, well, they had an assorted color stuff. Right, and here's some other ones, too. Yes. Okay, well, way cool. I, I like the idea of the headband up there. It's, not, it's like I'm going to have hat head anyway, so that's I might right. as well protect my hair from getting pulled out. Yeah, well, I won't be borrowing those. I, I have no hair to protect. Well, when you have your own headband. That's true. I have my sweatband. But I tell you, I like those uh, head sweats. They work well. Yeah. That stuff really does wick up the sweat really yeah. good. I know what this is. You do? Yes, I do. This, you know, I said I know what this is, but that's too light for what I thought it was. I thought this was my circular saw, my Ryobi circular saw. Well, you know, in order for that to have been under the tree, number one, I would have to have remembered it, and number two, I would have had to have known where you put it. It's, it's in the garage. I, I, yeah, but... You didn't come in last night and go, oh, kid, remember you got to wrap this. I know there's something from Evanex. Where it's in an Evanex box. It's at least in an Evanex box. Yeah, you know. Uh, it's, it, it's a... So technically, Jules has a present. Well, Jules has two oh. presents. So it, this is a dual deck center console insert... For Model 3 and Model Y. Okay, so it's got the, the places so that you can put your USB cables. And it's got coins and stuff. Is it, you know, felt, that's really is it deep. felty inside? Yeah. It is. And it looks like the same stuff that Tesla that uses. It's really deep. And so everything is in the bottom and then you have to drag everything out. So maybe this would well help. Mm. Right. Yeah, well, holes for the... Yeah, don't throw out this, this, the, your second... Screen protector. I think Jules technically has one of them in the, either Jules or Ruby already has one of those in the car from something. I think from when you went um, to one of those EV, sh maybe the one in Why? Texas, yeah. they were giving away promo bags, goodie bags. Oh, it's another thing. Uh, this is a, uh, but they already, oh, I know, I see what's going on. This one's, it's, first of all, it's deeper. The one that's in the car right now isn't this deep. And I'm a hoping that that is what I think it is. Because the other problem with the other one is you can't use the 12 volt socket, basically. Right, you have to lift have it out. Every, you have to you lift use it. use the tray or use the 12 volts. Uh, and so this, I guess, will help alleviate that problem. So we'll have to definitely go install those. And Don the did find the second set of red tesla t stickers that are on oh, ruby's yeah. tires he had ordered two because yeah. they weren't expensive and yeah, after uh you know what uh 30 power washes they're looking a little peaked now yeah, so yeah, well, he's going to put a new set on ruby on yeah so ruby has a little tiny christmas present too yeah yeah don's pulling ruby out apparently we need room well i guess you know the bike Yes, it's always close to that post coming out, but the thing of it is with it being on the driver's side, you can really see the post well, so. All right, you gotta come in and close your eyes. Close my eyes? Yes, close your eyes, it's all ready. I had a last minute, I had to put your GoPro on it. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Well, and it would make good. sense that filmer girl uh, would all right, all right, all right, all right, just keep walking. Don't, 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 don't. Don't open I'm your really eyes excited. yet. Don't open your eyes yet. Hang on, hang on. Don't open your eyes yet. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Really? Open your eyes. Oh, wow. Check it out. Yeah, uh huh? That is super cool. Uh huh. Way cool. That's right. You did mount my GoPro. I you know did. The filmer girl's going to want to be filming and... down the trail. Uh huh. And uh, and and the basket it, it takes me back. I like it though. I really uh -huh. like it. Yeah. Matching green uh, Velcro. Oh well, yeah. Like uh huh. It. 
And you got you a mirror over here, I all see. nice and adjustable. Wow, that is way cool with little like yeah uh, leather or leather looking grips. I don't know which. Yeah, they're is. leather, right? They're leather, yeah. right? Wow. So tell me about the power. Yeah, it's a class two, so it has both throttle and pedal assist. It has a mode button. You can push which mode you want to run in. Okay. okay. And it has a seven-speed derailleur in the rear, so you can pedal, and you know, depending on how fast you want to pedal uh, and add assist, you can be in the right gear, so you always um, not have to pedal so fast. Because uh -huh. so the mo head, my face. Oh, sorry. Well, I was. Uh, Don always does that when he films. Yeah. I have to, um, I've learned to watch out now. I would just be looking at my legs. Yeah, more. it goes. Um, it go as fast as you can pedal. So do I have charge? Yeah, it's ready to go. Okay, well I can't tell how. Oh right, I'm, up here right. So uh, this stuff. is the switch. Uh huh. And I think, uh, I think I got. Uh, I went the wrong way. There. It takes. I have to. I have had it on today. Okay. Oh, oh that's what it was. I I. I didn't well, have. Well, you might have had it the first right. Yeah, I think I had time. it the first time. And then, there it goes. Oops. There. Okay. <gasps> okay. Phew. Well, I it's well, just well well yeah, I took the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I had this on there, but I took that off. Uh, this Start thing. Of tips. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's that. So yeah. I'm um, trying not to feel too intimidated about yeah. my first ride, but since it's going to be 70 today, we're going to have to take her for a spin. Yeah. You'll probably. Get started with it. Yes. Right? Probably. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, yeah, I, I'm very impressed. It's well made. It's it's kind of heavy. It's like 70 pounds or something like that. It's um, it's definitely yeah. Holy, 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 holy yeah. Oh, yeah. What? I can lift it, but not into the car. <laughs> right. Well, the battery. Technically, I can lift it. The battery will come off. Okay. Uh, it can and that be reduces the weight significantly. And that could help reduce the weight of the weight of it a little bit, you know. But yeah, uh, but the ten pounds isn't going to still make it so I can just casually put. No, it you're not still going to just be able to whip her into the back of the car. That's right. And um, this this folds down. The the front, of course, we'll probably have to take. That's why I use Velcro with the basket, is because this this folds down, and the bike folds in half. This down here. Uh, allows it to fold in half. Here, you give it to me. I'll let you. Yeah. There it goes. So how do the handlebars go down? The basket's really in the way? Well, the basket, uh, right. Well, I mean, if you're trying to get it all uh, scritched up real tight, it, I think the basket, I had But it comes it. on and off pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, well, with Velcro. That's with the Velcro. Yeah, okay. It's not, so it's that's not. no big deal. Right. So and show us how it folds halfway, because I don't know. Sure. Well, that's easy. Uh, it's got this little safety over here spring loaded so it holds the uh, the latch in place uh-huh you have to hold it and there, there that is and now if we uh, I'm on the wrong side to do this Let's see it oh okay bends in half I gotcha yeah okay so, so we'll be trying to figure out if it goes in the back of Ruby or not I guess it's debatable I was what I was going to say. Yeah. It's designed to be on the other side. It's supposed to be on the other side when you're opening. Right. So this, this is the wrong side to do it. So I guess what I was going to say for the Tesla is it's debatable whether it would go in better with uh, folded in half or just with the handlebar down and straight in. Right. But in either case, I can't lift it into Ruby or in and out by myself anyway. Right. So it's a two per it would be a two-person operation. Yeah, but. Right. Well, I'm excited to go for the first ride in a, in a bit. That's way cool. Yeah. Oh, it has a light down here in the front. All right, yes. I'm trying to figure out how to turn that on. Eco, standard, power, speed. Okay, yeah, so it's got, I guess zero is nothing. It won't do anything. Oh, the brake light went on when you did that. Yeah, the brake light that. lights up too. So class two means it operates like a real yeah, it's motor vehicle. Well, uh, brakes, it's just, it's lights, 
20, yeah, all those types of things. And, and uh, but uh, the, the speed, the speed and the power. So, how much power and how much speed? 750 watt motor, which is one horsepower, and a maximum of 20 miles per hour assisted. Okay, you can pedal as fast as you want to go, like any motor. bike, any bike. But okay, the motor will cut off at 20 miles an hour. So, if you're going over 20, the motor won't help. Well, I have a feeling the way this is going to go down is you're going to take it around the parking lot up at South Park first and figure it out so that you can then explain it to me. Yeah, well, I, 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 uh, I do agree we need to sit down and do a little bit more reading. Reading, yeah, because right now, I mean, I'm, I know I'm going to love it and I'm going to be comfortable on it, but right this second, I'm intimidated. Yeah. I understand. I don't want to, like you with your new unicycle when you got it, you, right. you don't want to mess it up, yeah. crash it and mess it up. In anticipation that we would go somewhere, I did charge my unicycle. Yay! So Johnny's been patiently waiting, right? Yeah. Here's the moment he's been waiting for. There's two things under it. Oh, well that one is where Mr. Don stuck his saw. So you can come get your saw out, Donnie. That yeah, that's why oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, here. Let me go. Well, we filmed that you buying it. No, you didn't find you the other we, you didn't no, find the other one. Oh no. No, 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 no. What the heck? What am I gonna do with tin? Where did you find it? It was out there in the tin building. Mm -hmm. Oh well. It about three days ago. Okay. I was looking That's nice. I was looking for <laughs> He's the, like, stop uh, talking and please let me open my present. Ah, ah. Are you excited? I mean, yes, but I don't know what it is. Oh, way cool. Is that a 3D printer? Careful. <laughs> that looks like a fancy 3D printer, too. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Dremel. Yeah. Does it have a Dremel attachment? No, but we have a Dremel if you ever want to do Dremel-y things. We tried to, we decided to get to one that's basically got the entire thing top start to, in other words, you can do a DIY, build it, program it, construct it yourself. But for this first one, we figured a one that has an entire ecosystem built around it. Like a Tesla, owning an electric Tesla car, if you have an electric Tesla, you don't have to worry about anything, but if you buy somebody else's electric car, you're going to have to do it a little bit harder. What in the world? I think that was a transformer. The, the flash was the transformer, and then we heard the boom. Well, we still got power, so... Well, yeah, but it caused us... It caused right, a, a little... Online. Huh. Yeah. Uh-oh, somebody must have been testing out a new Christmas present. Maybe. So it's green filament, too. Well, it, you know, it comes with a white, and you've got green, and... I guess I thought there was one other color. Maybe there's one other color coming. And like uh, subscribe and save or something, but yeah, it hasn't right. come well, yet. Let me get the paint. Does, well, Mr. Dawn. Here, I'll move this out of the way. I can tell you, I'll just go outside and just work Yeah, we're curious about what the noise was. Yeah, that was a not normal something you hear on Christmas Day. As a pop. Well, let me go get a new battery. I'm about to no, run out. I'm back. So he, he wants to take it to the green room, so. Um, really? Well, this thing really needs a computer with Windows on it, and I have no idea. I what? Um, really? Well, I, mean, I need a software. Uh, he's gonna. Well, you got that table there in front of the TV, That's and you, and I'm sure that'll be fine. My thought process was, <coughs> um, Johnny, was to set it here on you know, basically permanently on that little table right there out here in the garage, but we can always move it back. Yeah. Because Mr. Don doesn't normally use the little short shelf. Oh, just ends up being convenient. She's giving away my garage. Yep, we have to... sign up there. Well, we could add, and Johnny, we can get Johnny a sign too. Right, Hang so. on, what are you doing? Well, Before you help him, he's excited. He is excited, okay. Okay, so I was supposed to... Hang on. Will you just be patient a second? There's the, he the, he has no clue. I mean, he it's honestly, heavy. it's been out here. It's heavy. Johnny and I moved it in here, and we couldn't get it in the house or upstairs, so it's just sort of been over here in front of the door. But Don hasn't peeked, and he really doesn't know. This is a surprise. It's complete and total surprise. So uh, I wanted to go back 
out one more time to buy something to go along with this and the holiday got away from me and I didn't make it. So probably tomorrow I'll be doing that. And you'll understand after you look at it. Are you really excited? What do you think it is? Come on. Come on. You have to take a guess. It's not a Donnie it's thing really if you don't intense. guess. Um, well, at first I thought it might be like another toolbox or something. But it's just a little too heavy for that. Uh, and we got lots of stuff like that. Um, uh, I couldn't Johnny imagine is, it would be something for the car. Oh, it's the spare tire. Nope. But nope. that's a nice guess, but nope. Oh. I'm going to give you a hint. It does have a battery. Oh, it has a battery. It does have a battery. So oh. part of the weight is the battery. Okay. And it's not no little wussy battery. Are you excited? <laughs> All right, you can look now. It's 40 volt. Oh, it says Ryobi. Oh, it's a, um, a, hole, a digger, a hole digger. An auger. An auger, yeah. You will never have to dig a hole with the post hole diggers again. Also, I know what that was thing out that you said you wanted to go get. You wanted to go get somebody to use it. No, I want to go get a plant for you to show, demonstrate how to use it. <laughs> the only problem with this gift is I should have bought it for you five years ago. Yeah. So this is supposed to help me, huh? It is. It's like that hose reel. Payback's <laughs> hell, buddy. <laughs> Payback is hell. This it is. is a bitch. It is a little bit supposed to be a little bit funny, but you have a new uh, battery-powered tool, brushless motor, and everything. <laughs> he just wants to make sure she gets holes done. That's right. Without As, all the whining. Without all the whining. Well, I'm worried about your shoulder, Donnie. Oh, yeah. No, sure. <laughs> Don't want your shoulder to hurt. The one to wear out before you get, get done with me. I've ordered uh, stuff a couple Christmases in a row. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that thing. Eight inches, it says. Wow. And just to say, I re assembly required, <laughs> and then you got to work with it. Oh God, that sucks! <laughs> that absolutely sucks. <laughs> Some assembly required, and then I have to use it. Now look, I realize it's a new battery system. However, Ego doesn't make one. Oh, they don't. Yeah, they don't. Right Ego on. doesn't make one. I I looked and prayed and hoped and God, yeah, I guess you get a workout using it. Yeah. It may dig the hole, but you got to hold it up. Yeah. You don't have to worry about pushing down on it. Right. The weight of the machine itself will. Yeah. Lots of cardboard. That looks lethal. Wow. Drop that baby on your toe. Oh, it's got a blade. Yeah. Kind of another blade. Wow. Well, it looks pretty serious. Yep. Jimmy Cricket. So where's the battery? Oh, over on this side. So the different type of battery. Yeah, yeah, it is. Our Ryobi stuff is all small power tools, and this is more of an Ego class battery. But like I said, Ego doesn't make one of these, or obviously I would have just bought an Ego one. Well, probably, hopefully this battery will only last for two minutes. One hole? One hole I think, uh, I don't know. I think it goes better than that. But we'll find out. We'll be finding out. Yeah, I was going to go buy me a nice tree for you to plant so you could demo it. So, pro so stay tuned uh, over the weekend for a demo. Okay. Well, I will read up on it. Right. I'll take this in and uh, read up on it. Read up on it. I'll take it. Well, I'm sure you could plug the battery in. All right, we'll get Johnny's uh, thing in the house because I know he's excited to start reading and doing yeah right well the calibrating it is the hardest part of using it are you putting it together or are you just cleaning up trash ah oh, okay all right I'll go get them on the oven's preheated I put it on I started the oven right before we came out hey buddy if you're gonna be the regal king in that chair I'm gonna have to clean it hi 
喵。Hey, bud. You think you're gonna get to drink a cup of coffee? Uh, I was hoping. So there's not two bikes. No, no. How is that gonna work with me on the bike? I mean, I'm excited about the bike, but how's that gonna work? Well, I have two unicycles. I can put a, my foot on one and a foot on the other, and I can ride two. So I'll have two wheels just like you. Well, that'll be a little funny since they're not the same height. Oh, okay. Well, I'm. So you're planning to do the unicycle right, on the trail with me? I'm gonna do the unicycle on there. Well, we're gonna go up to South Park and practice. Practice. Get comfortable close and to the maybe house. Just do down and where we normally walk. down the trail and back today. Yeah, yeah that sounds like because we want to do Christmassy right. things I, today. We but got still, lots of fair yeah stuff. To yeah, do hopefully now. I don't. I think the weather's gonna be nice through the weekend. Right. Um, we'll probably go to maybe further tomorrow or go someplace. Sure. Tomorrow, but sure. Today is just gonna do a uh, shakedown. See if we can get get in Ruby. Uh, now. Uh, I watched a video and the gentleman was very clear that the footwell in the Model 3 was plenty big to hold the bike, but he couldn't get it through the opening of the Model 3 trunk. So I'm thinking the Model Y, the footwell, might hold the bike. We'll find out. Okay. So if Ruby, we're going to try it with Ruby, let me be very clear, but if Ruby, if it's too tall for Ruby or something, I think the footwell of um, the Model Y might accommodate it very right. well. Right, and I guess there's laying it in flat with the seats down or folding oh, yeah, it in yeah, half, well. but it sticks up higher. I don't, yeah. Well, I've got that great big tub that I think I made you go to Lowe's with me to get. Mm-hmm, that's right. We did that's, pick up that red. I thought we were putting in like Christmas decorations yeah, in it or yeah, something. Yeah. No, no, that's the whole the bicycle. The rad um, user groups out on Facebook are rad owners. They had some really good ideas. Yeah, they're very, yeah, yeah. Okay. Way cool. I got cinnamon rolls for you. Yeah. And we only get them like once a year because that's <laughs> definitely not on the keto approved yeah, list. Enjoy them. I will. Thank you, sweetheart. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Donnie. Johnny is working to fire up his first project. He's been in here reading and yep. understanding and he's done everything all by himself yep. and we're real proud of him. Yeah, he's doing great. Wow, way cool. We're filming in. Don and I, meanwhile, have been reading up on uh, on my bike. Yeah. You're sleeping. Hi. Hello, midnight. Hey, bud. Last year they were all about these beds all the time. This year, not so much. Doesn't matter. They sleep where they want to, and they have lots of options. Is it getting ready to start? No. Okay. Oh, so it's going through a leveling process? Mm -hmm. It lights up. That's what I said, it's got kitten colors. Oh yeah, okay. He's got an SD card with some stuff on it. A tree frog. I can see that on the LCD. Oh, it's okay. currently heating up right now. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. Ooh, we got all the tape, right? The tape on this side is off, yep. I'm trying to get used to the uh, new iPhone camera stuff a little bit. I'm on three times zoom in now, which is, uh, with me holding it, is pretty shaky. You can adjust to two times like I'm used to. But uh, you have to, um, I don't know, it's just you have to use the little wheel. It turned out awesome. It's very exciting. I'm getting out Ruby t to load up my bike. And uh, I've fitted my helmet. I was going to show you my helmet on. It's pretty comfortable. Woo! It is very warm, but it is windy. But I think 70 and wind will be okay. Should be a comfortable ride. I thought I'd let you show on my helmet. It's a thing to get it on and situate it. I hate to take it off, but I guess I won't do that dorky thing where you wear your mask even when you're in your car. Yeah. I'll take it off till we get to the park. It looks nice. There she's styling. 
style and it's got a fancy adjuster in the back and we've got the strap so it misses our ears and yet it's still on pretty tight Let's see the little adjuster thing yeah, well Don got me this one with this adjustable thing so I can tighten it after it's on and loosen it to take it off I have a <clears throat> rather large hat size oh I have a big head no well that you got a lot of hair that's what she's got a well, lot of hair that's true but we found this out when we got the racing helmet that I needed a larger helmet yeah. size so I yeah. agree yep so. See, he has to know how to operate it because then he can help me operate it. Although we've been watching videos and I'm getting up to speed on it. There's a walk assist and a... Yeah. He's checking out the brakes. He's trying to make sure... right here is the throttle. Okay. You just turn it. Okay. Or you pedal it. And I've got it on one, which is if I pedal it, I remember when I rode the one. So it's minor assist on one. That's how it's working. Right. Okay. Uh, but here's the thing. It won't start. I mean, you could start it with this. Right. But when you pedal that first half pedal, you have to pedal before it kicks in. Okay. And then there's a little jolt when it kicks in and it, yeah, then it keeps it. on helping yeah. a little bit yeah, or something. Right. Okay. All right, so next thing we need to do is see if we can get it. Well, I guess you okay. only need the walk assist going uphill. Don says it'll pull you right along with the bike. Yeah, it's actually a little faster than I yeah. thought. You push, you push in on them, uh -huh. spring-loaded, and you flip them up. Okay, so they're not sticking out quite as far. Right, that, that, that gets you, you know, an inch or two more clearance. Clearance. Yeah, I told Don that I suspect with Ruby Center console is actually not a good thing in this case. Well, I, I was going to try to fold it. Okay, cool. And, and I might even, yeah, I was just going to try to fold it. Well, this. I'm sure I can do all of this, but I'm very glad for today that Don is here to do it. Just making sure. Especially to lift it in and out, but. So you do need to be careful of the wires, just, you know basic watching of the wires yeah okay it, it definitely if it's caught behind this white part here that this one cable gets really tight so I had to make sure it was in front of this white uh, this is like the front uh, luggage rack if this black Mount, cable was yeah. up here on top it tightened up too much okay but if I put it down in front of that then it, it's got plenty of slack in the cable yeah well I saw how you were careful with it I guess there's a quick connect there disconnect for something too for one of the things and now Don is undoing the center half of the bike that clamp is that the right word for that that's, the, that's, that's, the, that's right that's the clamp okay now it's got a it's, it's really got a little kick, I got, of course it's right under the pedal see that little yeah a little kickstand uh-huh yeah a little kickstand I'm sure once you do this a few times, you really get used to doing it. Yeah, this is my first time. And of course, I'm videoing you, so don't yeah, mess it that's up. that's right. Everybody should do everything on video. The very first time. I highly recommend it. Now, does it have something to force hold it uh, in the split in half position, or is it yeah, just... they give you some Velcro. Velcro, okay. A Velcro strap. Fit. Yeah, sideways in there for sure. And it's got a um, got a, a a guard on the derailleur, so you can lay it on this side. I'll go get the Velcro strap. Real quick. Okay. Hey, Marty. Mart, Mart. Hi. Hey, bud. Stripes over there in the chair in the back side of the carport. Morris was up in the chair with him a while ago. They're hanging on a nice warm day. So it came with this Velcro strap, and that just keeps it from sliding too far apart back when you go to lift it yeah, a little. It just kind of keeps it all in one area. Okay. So our plan is to go to South Park. I'll practice in the parking lot. We'll go down and out the trail. And before we leave South Park, we'll do one run around the lap, the track, just to get a little bit of 
heart work today. Right. And then the plan with this thing is, I guess, you know, um, in good weather, once a week, maybe do bikes and unicycle instead of the walk on a longer trail. One of the greenways around here where we can do a five to ten mile ride or something. We'll still get plenty of exercise. It'll just be different exercise. Should I help? Just to protect Ruby's bumper? Yeah, you, or we can go get something. Oh, we're gonna, okay, yeah. so upright it's not going to clear. Well, I think if we took this up, this right here, uh -huh. the rear tire would go down. Down, and it would. Of course, and there's a would. bunch of stuff in oh, there. Oh, yeah, well, we're just going to roll it like up. Like everything the else, and yeah. See, I got Hot Wheels and coat jackets. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, This car is never empty. Um, it's a mom's car. It's a mom's car. See, it's got a protector on the derailleur here. Uh huh. It's got a cage. So on you can lay it on that side without worry of side. hurting it. The pedal, see the pedal? Yep. It's kind of forming a little stand. So I'm going to lay it over on its side because this side with the basket on it. Yeah, it's just complicated. So okay. I'm just going to ease it over. I'm going to stop filming and I can come help. All right, if it's fine, the seats in the middle row are in the normal position. The only thing I'm going to do is go get a blanket it's really not pressed against it but i'm gonna go get a blanket and put it between the handlebar and the back of the seat um at least on that one side and maybe the other side probably what would be nice is if we just put a piece of cardboard there straight across that we just regularly would like insert um now that we've done it once and with two people it really wasn't a hard yeah. problem uh, i really want to would want to do that by myself uh, only be if it was the GMC or the van, no problem. Right, but, but uh, not wanting to damage the end. And yeah. knocks and, and that kind of stress, that type of being careful to do it. You know, with one person, it's very awkward. With a second person, you're like, Marianne, she steadied the seat. the seat and stuff so that it didn't fall over and bash up here and hit something. So, uh, it, she, I would just tell you, maybe inside that cart box or something it might be a little right easier. well we didn't even bother to get the storage bin because uh if it wouldn't be in there standing up without the bin it sure wasn't going to be in there standing up with the bin even if that only added a centimeter or something so can we get a piece of cardboard sure. to insert behind the seats in between the bikes so we don't damage the cardboard, backs of the seats yeah cardboard we got hi buddy hi meow Oh wow, I can see a little frog shape up there. Way super cool. Oh my goodness. How exciting. Wow, that's got to be like a third of the frog already. That's way cool. Yeah. Well, we're loaded up. We're just going to South Park. I doubt we'll be gone more than an hour. We're not going to leave for 10 minutes. We got to cut the meat off. You don't need to do anything. We're all loaded up. We put a piece of cardboard to protect the seat. Don's going to make a more sophisticated looking cut cardboard, but that works for now. When we leave the park, we're going to try this uh, generic uh, rear um, cargo mat. Don did come and add somewhere an extra piece of cardboard. Yeah, there you see, to protect the carpet, um, which is why we're going to try the cargo mat. We didn't have to do too much sliding, so I don't think we need it to be, you know, that should be okay. Anyway, we're learning. First time out, we're learning. We're fixing to go. And I'm driving because, you know, still the safety score. Here we go. This is her very first ride. Really okay. Really okay. Just pedal, ride it like a regular bicycle to start with. Just pedal like a regular bicycle. Don't try to do anything fancy. You feel it? You feel it pulling you? Yeah, we came here because, and on this part of the parking lot, there's people on the, the sides where we normally go. This is so that she has lots of um, space, not have to worry about running into cars. I really got to zoom out. I'm not very steady here. Here she comes. And I'll teach her about the twist grip. She's doing the pedal assist right now. There she is. Can it be a little windier out here? 
Well, with the pedal assist, it should make a big difference. Right. Oops, where'd she go? There she is. The... Also, um, changing gears, uh, it's got seven speeds and she's actually in the highest gear right now. Uh, it's in seventh gear and um, you know, when you're going up a hill, that's probably not the gear you want to be in. Okay, so try the throttle twist grip on the right hand. Just turn it and you should feel it. I, was, I heard the motor, so she definitely found that twist grip. That's uh, ride it like a motorcycle at that point. No, no pedaling required. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's going to get addicted to that, that twist grip. The miles per hour is not showing up, though. Uh-oh. I don't know. I haven't set the... Um... Yeah. Yeah, well, we... Um, there's, this display has multiple settings. She's found the horn. I think she found the horn. Did you find the horn? Huh? Was that you? No. Oh. Where's the horn? It's by, by your finger. The bell. Right at your left thumb. It's a little bitty thing that sticks out. She found it. Alright. She's, uh, I think, getting the hang of it. I think it's heavy. I got to tell you, it's lifting it in and out of the car. Lifting it out is not too bad because I can just lift straight up and pull back. But trying to be careful getting it in there was, was ticky, tricky. You found the bell. Is your mirror okay? Why don't you adjust your mirror when you get a chance? And I'll tighten it down. It's, it's kind of loose at this point. Alright, well I'll tighten it down when you stop. Is my headlight on? No. Still not on. Ah, it's on now. Okay. Of course it's pointing down. I'll have to adjust that. It's pointing kind of down. It's not pointing the right direction. Oh, sorry. Why don't you practice stopping? Yeah, I was worried about that. You were going to want me to demo that. Well, you should try to stop, do a panic stop when you get a little bit more comfortable. Make sure you can stop real quick. Okay, we'll, we'll work on it. Yeah, well, not, in the, not your first stop doesn't need to be a panic stop. Okay. Which, I'd rather stop on roller skates. Right, <laughs> I understand. I used to take roller skates. So what's your first impression? Uh, I want to try the gel seat on the giant bike. Oh, we can we, try that. Yeah, we're going to try the other seat. The sure. seat is not. And um, Wednesday, a shock absorbent bar. A post seat post. Don ordered one of those is coming. Yep. So. Yeah, I had some help. Uh, somebody who has a red bike, he, Dennis, he was really nice. He told us what all to get. All right, I'm ready to go down the trail. Let's go. All right, let me get, 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 your get my stuff on. on. I understand. No, I just practice changing gears. I'm just, I'm just giving you things to try. Okay. Oh yeah, a little assist on the get up and go there at the beginning with the twist thing is helpful. If you feel like you're gonna lose it and not make it get going all the way, that was very helpful.
here. feeling pretty good about it. I mean it's just riding a bike right oh I like that help getting going it's like getting pulled up on um, on uh, out in the water on the uh, god water skiing it's like getting pulled up on the ski you get that boat driver gives you a little tug gets you right up there Well, hang on, I'm getting through this bar here. This is nervous. That's not a good thing. And I already went to six gear one time and I didn't really appreciate it.
getting it turned around that you know I don't like those cement things I wasn't sure I could hey so I was wrong I can see miles per hour I was getting distance which of course was at zero wow. confused and now I understand I'm learning my readout which all's good all's good I think I'm gonna be a lazy shifter and stay in seven and if I need more oomph just use the twist thing I don't think I'm ever going to be getting out of seventh gear. I don't know why I would. That little twisty thing. Yeah, that twist grip really gets you out of all kinds of predicaments where you need more speed. I wasn't going that fast on purpose. The bike was just kind of taking off on me. Right, right. Don did bring his wrist guards just in case he took a spill so he wouldn't break his wrist. scratch up too. Yeah. Well, I feel I feel safe and secure up here after the first little wobble. I told Johnny I was taking a I was, you know, stepping up here with this thing cuz I was a little intimidated to get on this heavy bike the very first time. Okay, here's where you give a little little assistance. <laughs> Yeah, you can bump up the assist uh, with a button where it'll hold it, or you can just twist and get like immediate assist is what we're talking about. Currently going 11 miles an hour again. Yeah, you know, Don's pretty comfortable at 10. Don doesn't want to do 20 on that thing. He has the bike, the unicycle with the bigger wheel. If we were going out on a trail and really wanted to do 20 miles or something, you know, he would probably take the bigger unicycle. The King Song, I think, is the other one. So can you hear the electric motor whir, whir sound? I can a little bit when it's providing more or less help. My, my backside is getting a little more used to being on the seat, but I can tell that this is going to be a good distance for today. I have a nice gel seat on my bike my dad got me when I was a kid. Huh? I gotta go up there? Oh god. Okay. Try a real hill. Yeah, I don't think I could drive this big weighty bike without the uh, little twist, twist thing. Fine with I just did the twist thing and poof boom it's very it's very powerful are we going around the neighborhood it's just they I wanted to be polite to them and the trash can was there and I you know I have trouble with narrow spaces and you tell me to practice my stopping so I was hello Merry Christmas <laughs> Yep, my 
foot can reach the ground and help me make the turn. I don't think so. I think it's probably about right. I mean, I was on my tippy toes there with my left leg down, but... serious with it right now. The left hand has had the carpal tunnel surgery. The right hand has not. And neither one of them bothers me too bad, but this in particular has bothered me a bit, and I'm, I'm not sure what to do about it. See where there's red? The red looks so pretty. Mixed in is one of the colors. And then just that one stretch over. Well, over here on the left, we need one red hat. It just bothers me. It's not even. It's just not even. Yeah, you can definitely see that the assist stops when the pedaling stops, which is what. 
what it's supposed to do. I'm not going out in the street. I'm just going to turn. There's nobody coming in either direction. Okay, that went okay. I've been using the brakes, yes. I don't know what's the difference. I've been using them like they both wore both brakes, not knowing there was a difference. I've just, I've been equally grabbing both of them. And that's the right one, the left one. Well, now that I've tried them separately, you're right, I can tell that they're different. Is it, was that that way of my old Schwinn bike too? Is that a universal? See, I guess I just never thought about it. I just always used both hands and it stopped the bike. <laughs> you know, when I was on that Schwinn 12 speed, I was just a teenager. It got me around the neighborhood from point A to point B. Sorry, Donnie, if you were too close. Well, look at that, you know, thing in front of me there. That was going to be pretty bad if I missed it. And there's a big drop off on the side of the cement. And there was a lot of stuff going on there. And I'm not that, you know, used to it yet. When you get going straight. Don't. Yeah, I don't like that thing ahead of me. It's fine. It's not good to get started on a narrow, I'm not good enough to get started on a narrow space yet is what the problem is. Once I get both feet on the pedals and my body balanced, it's no big deal. Let's just say it may take me a couple more feet than those young whippersnappers. I feel like that's a word Sandy Monroe would use. It's certainly a word my grandmother would have used when she was older. Oh, don't get older. <laughs> Donnie's just pointing out, don't forget the metal kit. Don't cut it too close. Well, I hope one day we'll be out riding over here and we'll happen on Pond Terrence when I have the bike. But if not, we can at least tell him that I got the bike. But he doesn't have a cyst, so when he comes up this hill over here, he's really working. He's almost sorry he went down the hill. Okay, I think. Hello. Merry Christmas. assist level help. One to a two. <laughs> well, not that I really need it, but I guess I would have put a clock up here too. Yeah, with the... Yeah, they're keeping stuff down low. workout there. I didn't over assist it myself out of it. And then I forgot to start my watch to cycling mode. Oh well. All that would really let me do is see what my heart was. I guess I can still... Oh, it started something. But I think it thinks I'm walking. Because I forgot to start the cycle part. Yes, I am. I'm walking. Actually, I'm riding.
here managing the, the, the bike, but. Thursday as well as Friday. Okay. Well, I would call this a very successful first ride. Other than the fact that my right hand is quite numb. Whatever I'm doing as far as the wrist, you know, positioning on that grip is, um, that I don't want both hands up there. I mean, I ran, rode a lot, no hands. But I'm not as young as I used to be, so we won't be trying that today. Well, I think I'm going to go back to the car so that we can get home in time to finish up the dinner stuff before the meat's done. Okay. Oh, time. they're right. They're no, just... no, no. I'm, I'm just. This is the same thing with my unicycle. My calves will be sore tomorrow. Yeah, just because... it's getting better, but I totally lost sensation in my right hand. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to move the seat up for you. Oh goodness, your unicycle's heavy. Yeah, well, you know, Don rode up mountains in Hawaii, so he won't ha he won't be tentative like I was. But that's okay. We each got to drive at our ability. So this is just to break up our exercise routine. Like on the weekends or something, we go to those trails that are longer. I told you it, it was not slow down. It just wouldn't. There are a few people around, so I thought Ruby should do her light show. It is Christmas after all. The original Tesla light show. Wow, look at that roast. That is going to be so super yummy. Yes, it is. I'm looking forward to it. I'm Johnny's macaroni and cheese turned out good. We've got broccolini over here. Uh, we decided no on yeast rolls and yes on a big piece of cheesecake. <laughs> 